What's going on, Clitz? What? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dup. It's your boy Ross. And we in the Clitz, baby. Hey. Back to you, ladies and gentlemen, of the pictures that you feel me. We so, got? we're going to check out, I investigated the cancer capital of America. So, basically, this place in America is a, is a lot of cancer going on in this particular place. So we're we're gonna check out, see exactly what place he's talking about, man. Yeah, no, nah, that's pretty wild, man. And yeah, uh, it's a lot of places like that that be near the chemical plants and all that. Uh huh. Um, with all the the things that are going into the air. And the, yeah. You know, it's it's so much. So, man, be careful. And yeah, I definitely say try not to live next to any plants or anything <clears> like that, or known areas that you know got a lot of infectious stuff in the zone. Cause yeah, it's inevitable. All right, let's get right into this one, man. Everybody got cancer. I got cancer. This is re- how you start reserve Louisiana. Yep, sounds about right. That's the first thing. Everybody got cancer, and I just mentioned casually. I have throat cancer. That's wild to just casually say that like it's just a normal thing. That's wild, bro. Cancer sucks like crazy. Jesus, bro. Wow. That's and it, like you just said, a plant. It looks like that they're, they're I'm guessing this surrounding area is a big, big industrial plant. And that would make sense. Preserve Louisiana, the cancer capital of America. I might just die like day before yesterday from cancer. My dad died of cancer. I hope I don't have cancer. The EPA says the cancer risk here is almost 50 times the national average. Jeez. The plant puts people Damn. who live and work near the facility at the highest risk of developing cancer in the country. More than 100 petrochemical yeah. plants and refineries dot this corridor between New Orleans and Baton Rouge, often referred to as Cancer Alley. Go a half mile farther away, and the cancer rate drops significantly. But how many people actually have cancer here, and what can be done to stop this? So I met up with Robert, an 82-year-old lifetime resident of Reserve, who lives a few blocks from the plant. Wow. Uh, Mother to a weird cancer. My brother, my other daughters had cancers. My neighbors and friends. Robert, where are we right now? You're in the center of Cancer Alley. How long have you lived here? I was born here Dang. in 1940. But then the petrochemical industry showed up. They treat us like uh, like we're animals or something. I mean, it's terrible. If we go up and down this community, yep. you won't find a home here that hasn't been touched by cancer. Really, it is okay. that bad. That's wild. Hey there. We're, uh, we're knocking door to door. We're trying to talk to people that live here and ask them about Cancer Alley and see if they know anyone who's had cancer. How are you taking pictures, man? Get away from my house. Oh, okay, sorry. Get away Thanks from my house. See ya. Sorry. I ain't got no cancer out here. Okay. I'm going to say, Is get that like a controversial thing? No. 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 I didn't know that. I would have went with you. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I just want you to see all them plants around you. Everybody got cancer. Hey. I got throat cancer. You got. I don't want to be on no move. Okay, so Damn. it is a contentious That's thing crazy. to talk about it here. Yeah, getting... you can tell it's 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 like a, a a normal way of life, but people don't want to talk about it because obviously, I mean, it's it's something something. It's cancer, like and it, yeah, it's in no, different sure. forms, and it's it's deadly. So, but shit, they need to do what they can to try to get rid of the plants and stuff like that. Because oh, I no, mean, that, geez, bro, they can't get rid of them. All right, but not get rid, but you know, to get the word out there. Because I didn't know this. You know well, what I'm saying? Yeah. About this yeah. particular, at least this particular place. Yeah. Um. Because so, we have we have plants out here in Houston, but that's all in the port. That's all in one general area where people go to work there. Oh, and it's not by like a uh, like a uh, a residential area. Like, there's no plant where you can literally just walk to. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's all in one side of the city. But for them in this particular town, it's just right there. It's just right there, smack dab in the middle. So, damn, bro. I'm told That's to wild, off, get the fuck out of here. Uh, there's a lot of sensitivity about this topic for obvious reasons. Robert told me a lot of people in reserve work for these plants or know someone that does. So speaking out on the relationship between the plant and cancer is somewhat taboo. Do you know anyone who's gotten cancer out here? And that's that's how it is. Mm -hmm. You money bring it in, even though it's it's hurting your community, it's hurting your people. 
if that's the place you getting stable money from. That sucks, bro. Yeah. <clears throat> Is it pretty common for people to get it out here? Yeah. You got this um, plant called Decker. That's the one that's polluting all the cancer. So you might want to go to the last street. It's called 30th. That's where it's doing the most killing that. Okay. You might just die like day before yesterday from cancer. A lot of my people died from cancer. And these factories are the ones polluting? Yeah. Okay. Thank you for your time, sir. 30th seems to be the epicenter. It is the closest to these factories out here. We're gonna pull up to these real quick, see who and what we can find. But before I spoke to people living on 30th, I drove to the infamous DuPont Danka plant, emitting chloroprene into the air and giving the people that live nearby Chlorophyll. cancer. Four years ago, Robert flew 7,000 miles to their headquarters in Tokyo, Japan, and tried to get answers from the executives. Some people who you know and who you represent are profiteering off of the suffering that's being put on my people by wow. DuPont Dinka. They were turned away. Dinka later fuck. told them they couldn't meet because of pending litigation. They demonstrated to us today that they don't care about what's happening to them. They don't. I and he stood on his face. He stood on business. He went all the way over there. Yeah. He went all the way over there, stood on business, and they, I can tell you now, they don't give, they ain't give two fucks. They you look like why? You want to know why they don't give two fucks? Money. Because it's money and it's not affecting them yeah. personally. That sucks, bro. And the government allows it. Yeah. that That's the thing. It's a foreign company, but the government allows it. It's, it's money, bro. At the end of the day, the same government that we sit up here and boys will defend. And there's, there's good things about this country, but there's also bad things about this country that need to be addressed and mm -hmm. stuff like this happening to our people that are on our own country and we're allowing it to happen for that bottom dollar bro that's wild bro that's at the end of the day man we that's why we say it really ain't about race motherfuckers get way confused oh it's about no it's about this mm -hmm. if you don't have enough of this money they don't give a fuck about if you white or black wherever you from they do not care that's facts, bro. They don't give a shit. The people in Reserve, Louisiana. You know, I brought people on tours, and I went right in the front right there. I parked, and they called the police for me. First, they sent out the guard come running out. As we drove in undetected, I began to notice some rather ironic <clears throat> signs placed everywhere. Think safe, stay safe from cancer that we're giving you and your family. Yeah. Safety is everyone's Basically. responsibility. The irony of these signs is that everyone living around this factory is getting cancer. And little did I know, the DuPont Danka plant was one of over 150 petrochemical plants along what's known as Cancer Alley, 85 mile stretch of land along the Mississippi River between Baton Rouge and New Orleans. Environmentalists Damn. refer to Cancer Alley as a sacrifice zone. But DuPont Danka claims the company says the EPA's chloroprene concerns are based on faulty science, resulting in a dramatically inflated risk factor. Surrounding this entire okay. CDC factories right now. Look at this horrible thing right here, man. This is the grain elevator. They do import and exports of grains. And this also pollutes the environment? Oh, terribly so. It's what's called grain dust. That contaminated water right there, could I drink from it? <laughs> no, you can't drink from the, the city water here. We don't drink the water here. We buy water. Could I take a shower out here? That's well, that's wild. the one thing that we're worried about because we can't find a way to take a shower. We've got a shower in this water. This is the one plant oh, that... Oh, bro, yeah, bro. that's yeah. terrible. And it's kind of hard to tell people, oh, just leave. Niggas are born there. Yeah, you can't born and raised there. everything and leave to go Jeez. to another city. That shit ain't as easy for everybody. It's not, bro. Especially if you, that's all you know, you grew up there in the 1940s. That's all you know. Oh, yeah, just leave. You can't. It's hard to, what? You got family be here. That I was telling you that uh, producers ain't known carcinogens. There's just so many of them. And they're right next door to what is called Nalco chemical, which is an entirely different chemical. What are we in front of right now? We're, I'm feeling a little burn in the eyes. This is an aluminum factory. And this horrible stuff you see here pervades wow. this whole community. What health effects is this aluminum known to have on people? Uh, that They're quiet about that. They're quiet about it. I can taste something in the air right now. Hold, Feel on. Burn hold on, hold on. Let me read that. Let me read that. Community. What health effects is this aluminum known to have on people? Uh, that They're quiet about that. What are hazards? 
Aluminum can affect uh, when you breathe in. Contact can irritate the skin, eyes, like Odu was saying. Exposure to aluminum can cause metal fume fever. This is like a flu-like illness with symptoms of metallic taste in the mouth, headaches, fever, chills, aches, chest tightness, and cough. Are you serious, dog? That's fucked up, bro. And you got all these people living around this stuff. and they That's have- fucked up, bro. Dog, that's, they, they don't care. And it's like I said, it don't even, it's not even about race at that point. It's just, we don't give a fuck. We're going to build where we want to build. We don't care. Bro, and this stuff here is documented by people, which is yep. dope that you got channels like this because a lot of them not broadcasting this yeah. type of news. Like, this is the type of news that people need to be hearing about. So yeah. awareness can be brought about and people can try to figure out a way to collectively <clears throat> come together to stop some shit like this. But no, they want to tell you about the same stories over and 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 over. And over. Uh-huh. That's come fucked on. up, bro. Quiet about it. I can taste something in the air right now. Feel it burn my eyes a little bit. Factories <clears throat> everywhere. Seeing all of these plants pollute the air, water, and soil with various carcinogens, you might be wondering. Why haven't you moved? Why should I move? How can I move? I struggle all my life to build this. What is happening in Americans, a poor person right now, in good conscience, who will I actually sell this house to? Uh, what mm. poor, unsuspecting family would I trick into moving into this debt trap? And to add insult to... He a real that, one, bro. That man, hey, that... He man, a real one, bro. That's some real shit right there. He a real one, bro. That's he a real one. Shit. Like, like we thought, like, bro, you ain't... It ain't easy to just pack up and go. And then again, like you said, who you gonna sell a damn house to? And then if you got a conscience, you wouldn't even want to sell it to nobody. Yeah. Because you basically gonna be slowly, solely uh, killing them. Yeah. And don't let them, a uh, family that already has people with health complications, oh, it's wraps. You, yeah. You're compounding it even worse. Injury. Robert lived here before the plants were even built. In in 1963, I noticed the construction. We could see the construction going on when we passed on the highway right there. But we knew nothing about it. No, they never talked to us formally. We saw the white residents moving out. We didn't know why. And how did they know? Because well, because they told them I had to move my wife out. My wife. Uh huh. That 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 explains a lot. They. Mm-hmm. White folks up, they dip. They dip because they knew. That's cold. Just living in Anaheim, California, with my youngest son. My baby daughter got this very rare disease that her doctors told her was brought on by her lifelong exposure to chloroprene. I had to move. She's in New Orleans. The disease she got is so rare. It's terrible, man. Yeah. And people still live here to my left That's right now? There wow. are some people that have moved in here. And look at that, boom, factory. Wow, what is that factory right there? That's Marathon Oil. That's an oil refinery. Second largest in the United States. Jeez! A few homes as we're driving through. Seems insane to live wedged in between Two factories, all this pollution yeah. from all ends. It's got to dramatically reduce your lifespan. I can smell a much stronger smell in the air. Closest comparison is what I tasted and felt in Ohio when the train wreckage spilled a bunch of stuff. Oh, damn. damn. Hey there. Um, I just want to ask, do you ever have difficulty breathing out here? We, we breathe all the pollen and dust. Okay. Is there any history of cancer with your family or anyone who's lived with you? My mama had breast cancer. Did she live here? Yeah. Got a little brother that died of leukemia. Do you yeah. feel like they're responsible for the cancer? Or the chemicals, I guess. They don't just, shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me. Hey, how are you? They I was just wondering if you knew it. anyone who's had cancer out here. My neighbor has skin cancer. Skin <clears throat> cancer? Yeah. Okay. Took over all his Do you uh. think it's because of the factories around here? I have no idea. Case is everywhere. Everybody has case. Have you lived here your whole life? Oh, yeah. We moved here when I was a baby. I'm 76. I, I wouldn't have thought a day over 50. <laughs> <laughs> How is it living in between these two factories? Oh, we have 
Dust. Dust? Dust. Okay. Ooh, I think that's why we got cancer. I hope I don't have yeah. cancer. No, me too. Has any of your family members had anything? Oh, uh, my dad died of cancer. Would you move out of here if you could? Oh, no. No? This is home? I'm going to die. Cynthia, it's been a pleasure. It was great yeah. to meet you. Oh, yeah, he's so cold. I know, I'm chilly. <laughs> the consensus is it. Everyone out here That's knows so someone, hard. if not their family member, neighbor, or themselves, <laughs> who has cancer out here. This is kind of crazy. And keep in mind, this isn't even the street closest to the Danka factory where people are most affected by cancer. Speaking of companies that exploit you for profit, I recently found out I was still being charged 50 bucks a month for an expired security system I don't own anymore. 50 bucks a month for a Shout out to document him. template generator. Ad, $99 man. a year for Instacart. $10 a month for Door. Tyler Oliveira or click the link in the description to get started today yeah. for free. It's like, Thanks again, Rocket like, Money. Now let's go back so on serious. the ground and see who. Yeah, they didn't hear about a nigga being charged about Instacart and all this stuff. I'm just like, <laughs> terrible <laughs> ad placement. Yeah, you probably should have put that at the beginning of the video yeah. and then kind of went into it, or maybe like at the very, very end after some type of conclusion. I know we're that. talking about cancel, but I just had this thing come out yeah. of my account that I didn't know. <laughs> it's stupid, bro. Yeah, at the beginning or at least at the end. Who else has been affected by Cancer Alley? As we made our way to 30th, Robert pointed out a huge graveyard wedged in between two factories. Whoa. Oh, there you it see, is. You see how they, loved uh, ones in the cemetery? You see oh, how the cemeteries are? Huh? You see how the cemeteries are? Mm-hmm. Folks, uh, this is the largest black cemetery in the parish. Look at this. How do you do a funeral service here? How you do a burial? Look at the, look at That's what they ridiculous. do to people, man. Look how inhuman this is. Can you yeah. see the size of this cemetery, man? This is sad. Wow, you can smell it big time now, Robert. This is pretty dystopian. Right it's a next to the honestly. damn plant. As we're here, Dog, is this an emotional that shit experience? is disrespectful. <sighs> That's cold, bro. They don't give a fuck, bro. They like, they oh, you dead though, and they That's... still working. Look That's at this. Oh, bro. Dog. Frustrated. Yeah. My mom, uh, my, every, all of my family, they're, they're just a little further back in here, but they're scattered mostly all over here, man. Let's we'll see what people have started doing. Look, they're building on top. Oh, these are two, two yeah. coffins on top of one another. They got to stack them. We're the sacrifice people. We're the sacrificial lamb. And the most tragic irony here is a lot of these people died <clears throat> due to the cancer received from the factories they are now wedged in between after death. Right at 30th and 31st. This is the part of town that what? was the closest to this factory off. and is logically. Yeah, bro. This is... This is cold. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. This what is you, what you got killed by. You now you gotta eternally rest with your body there. Getting the most cancer. We're gonna drive through here, go through some doors, see who we can talk to. Seems like everyone and their mother out here is getting cancer, and there's not much you can do about it. On my way to 30th, driving through factory after factory, I saw this street full of people on my way and gave it a quick knock. Oh, like a nice oh, house. Oh, right. ask, you knew anything about Cancer Alley. Do you know people that have gotten cancer out here? Uh, my husband has prostate cancer. Really? Uh -huh. Okay. I'm not from here, but I know a lot of people that okay. I mean, like, many. We're basically just trying to hear any opinions and experiences with cancer out here in Cancer Alley. Only thing I'm going to tell you is okay. my sister, Yeah. she died of cancer. She died? She died March 8th of 2023 of this oh. year. Cancer. So we've noticed it's very controversial to talk about <laughs> this out here. Is it a gross. sensitive subject? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Because we lose so many people. In my family, just alone, we done lost 12 people. That's crazy. How does the city that look in cancer wild. out here? Are they fed up with it? Are they fed up? Yeah. Every time you turn around, we, we, we're losing somebody to cancer. Do the factories and the companies ever say, hey, here's some money. Sorry no. about that. No. 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 They don't give a you think fuck. the factories will, will ever shut down? <clears throat> no, nope. not Marathon. Ne no. Marathon will never shut down. It's too big. Too big. But them, they can, they can close down. Danka? Yeah, Danka can close down because the things we see at night, you can smell it in the air. I can kind of taste it, yeah. Yeah, you can. You can. Like yeah. I said, I just that lost is... my only sister Yeah. of March of this year. My sister was living on 30th Street. Okay. Uh, the closer you get to 30th, the closer you are to the You're factories. in the backyard. You're in the backyard okay. of the plants and everything. Having walked through a few streets leading up to 30th, we had Taking finally made it to the zone. All up. The most no, what I say is, boys, it's fine. You can get the people gonna get their wealth, all this other stuff, but at some point, you meet your maker. 
gotta and pay for you, that, bro. And if you willingly know, which they know, what's going on, and you don't give a fuck, that's okay. We don't all live forever. Motherfuckers try to find their way to live as long as possible, but everybody has to meet their maker at some point. Whatever you believe in, best believe. Yeah, I think that'll be the only other solution. Solution. I see what Jill put. Give it a few <clears throat> years. Investor will buy this town out and make it a factory zone. Yeah, like that's the solution. Oh, we ain't closing nothing down. We're gonna throw a few dollars in your pocket so that way we we need more room. And then mm-hmm. we just going instead of having to worry about potential lawsuits <clears throat> about giving people cancer, which I don't even know how they ain't getting no damn lawsuits, but because they probably don't. I mean, you. To do that, you definitely gonna have to have you a good lawyer. You gonna have to have some money on your hand because they gonna fight you with it. They these type of companies, they gonna fight you tooth and nail. They yeah, gonna but shit, the proof is out there. Like nigga, if you got the niggas on the commercials coming, hey, have you been di- diagnosed with mesothelioma? Call eight hundred. Like, bro, just you get a gang of them together. Oh yeah, and then more documentaries and shit like this. <clears throat> the proof yeah. is out there affected by chloroprene and in turn cancer. They're the closest to the factory on this street right here. Uh, you guys know anyone that's got cancer right here? Everybody you looking. Really? Yeah. Okay, we'll leave it here. Right here? The tarp? Okay. Thank you so much. Hey, sorry to interrupt. And we're making a little documentary about Cancer Alley. You know anyone who's gotten cancer right here? Um, this household, that household, that household, or one of them. The- they all do? Yeah, and nothing's been done about it for 50 years, so seed is already planted. It's in the ground. All my trees are dead. That's too late. Oh, almost. Wow. So. Yeah. My parents had cancer three times. Jeez. They link it, it to breast cancer, which is was inherited. Then she had colon cancer. Then she died from ovarian cancer at 89 years old. Jeez. Okay. Damn. Thank you for sharing. And my brother. Yeah. He died. Though. Of cancer? Yeah. I know people <laughs> that died of cancer. My niece. A good bit of people. Is it something that's talked about out here? Yeah, I kind of swept under the rug. Did your brother live on this street? He used to live here. Matter of fact, he worked at that plant. Uh, he worked at the plant. Damn. Did he ever think that go. they had any influence on him getting cancer? Let's <clears throat> see. Okay. Don't bother me. I've been here since I was seven years old. Okay. Do you think it's overblown, the, the fear of what the factories are doing? I kind of think it is overblown to me. It don't bother me. I like my spot. My dad built this in uh he died from like uh, prostate cancer. Do you think that may have been influenced by the factory? No, no. This is some evil it's, corporate. Yeah, and there's right people here. like it's that some... too. That you always gonna have those type. It don't bother me. So you feel like it ain't, yeah, you know, affecting you personally. So <clears throat> you think people are overdoing it or blowing? Nah, it bro. Portion. This that's too much of a coincidence of so many people getting cancer. Like I know cancer is one of those things where oh. it has grown, but. Damn, I don't know people personally. I've, you know, I've met people that have had cancer, but not that many per- personally where I can just say oh, they got cancer. They got cancer. Yeah, they- yeah, yeah. Like that's, just that's that's not normal. No, it's not normal. And the only correlation is the plants around. Why you think? Like I said, in Houston, there ain't many people that stay around them plants. Around the port of Houston, there's not many housings over there because they know, obviously the toxic chemicals that are being released in these shafts and the and the fumes and stuff like that is dangerous. So that's mm-hmm. why they all have them in one particular area oh, in yeah. the city. Because they already know. Them white folks, nah, they ain't playing that shit. Mm-mm. Nope. And see, that's a part of this that I've noticed that mm-hmm. we have to address. Like, a lot of our people don't really... They don't fight that. Like, what's his name? The dude flew all the way over there? If could you imagine, bro, if all of them as a community rallied up and was angry just as much as he was mm-hmm. to see something happen, bro? They would have to do something. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. That's too much of a coincidence, bro. Everybody get cancer? Come on now. All your neighbors? Yeah, all your neighbors, they children, they grandchildren. Nah, bro. He talking about oh, it. They me. play <laughs> done through the air, the water, and the soil. After knocking on nearly every door in 30th, I finally met someone besides Robert who is at least trying to fight back. Do you know anyone that's gotten cancer by chance? Well, for sure. Yeah? Everybody around here has gotten okay. cancer. Around. And so that's why I've joined the fight because of what, it's, it's not us saying it. It's, it's, it's our, either we're going to believe the government Oh, we're going to believe these guys. By the time we find out things, it's really, it's, it's too late. 
But I'm right. in a uh, group called Concerned Citizen of St. Okay. We spent the day with um, Robert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bobby Taylor. Yeah. We're trying to get to the bottom of this, you know. Uh, we won't be able to wait on the uh, federal government. It takes so much longer for them to prove something that's, uh -huh. that's very detrimental to our health. <clears throat> it's too late by the yeah. time they prove it. Yes, yes. I think that the factory should pay some sort of, like, reparations for the people it's going to be Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's the, on the back burner. Yeah. Uh, the forefront is to, is to get the... Uh, you know the environment sure livable, livable. and you guys obviously be safe and healthy yeah, yeah. right I mean, not only for us but the, the next generation sure generations to come do you think you guys will be successful sure yeah yeah no i mean we've seen some results i mean as you can see now i mean look at the attention that it's brought do you, yeah. do you think if the community rallied together they could halt what they're doing over there or is it I unstoppable think, uh, i think we can but then again <laughs> sure. But I think we can. We get together, we rally. I think we can do it. Okay. It seemed like the worst was behind Cancer Alley and a brighter future was ahead. Until you learn that companies are working to build even more factories out here. This little community here of Wallace, I think, has got about 850 people. And they want to put what here? They want to put a gigantic grain elevator. Okay, That's another one. Shit. Another grand element. Ruin these people's lives now too. Yeah, this can you imagine these little this little community here with that thing sitting right here? That thing gonna be almost three hundred feet tall. If they were to put yes. this granary right here, what would happen to your home? How would it well, impact you? More than likely if they put the if they were did put the plant there, we would probably have to end up moving out of the area. And, you know, no one wants to leave the, the home. I mean, I've been here like 56 years. And, Damn. Uh, you know, we're trying to take it, prevent this from happening. If a plant were to end up in this guy's backyard, his property value would dramatically decrease overnight. And yep. he yeah. sell the house to in good conscience, assuming anyone would even want to buy it. With more factories being built, more jobs are being made. And these people might need a new place to live. By new, I mean brand new. Robert, final phase selling now they're building more homes why most of the people who are uh, who they are aiming at are from out of town so they're too familiar with what's going on here do you think they're at risk of getting cancer higher than someone else well, certainly if they're living in this area is that something that would be disclosed to them upon purchasing the home you nope. think no. no no this is evil honestly disclose this at the very least come on kids riding their bikes by me kind of sad right remember i told you about the 0.2 that was at a 70-year risk of living. Children today, born today, are reaching that 70-year level by the time they are two years old. What? That's insanity. Look at that. For sale, all these brand new homes. The brand new residential Damn. community right in Cancer Alley. It's kind of evil. They're building. People are moving in here. If you do know, you probably don't want to acknowledge that you're in Cancer Alley. What will it take for all these companies to stop putting their factories here? For the people to be able to stand up, be able to exercise right. their rights. They come here primarily because we are the low-hanging fruit, which means we are the most vulnerable group. Black people are the poorest people black. here. We got 400-year history here. We're still at the bottom. They're aware of everything that this plant is doing and what it can only lead to, but they're not doing anything about it. They got the power to tell that plant, no, you can't do that. I, that's against human nature. That's against humanity. Yet it's important to know that DuPont Danka is the only facility in the U.S. that produces chloroprene. And this chloroprene is then synthesized into a rubber known as neoprene. Neoprene is found in use in rubber gloves, laptop sleeves, electrical insulation, orthopedic braces, etc. If we didn't buy things made out of neoprene, the plant producing neoprene wouldn't even exist. While it's easy to point fingers at corporations That's and call them thing. evil, while we're the ones wearing a shirt made from a child's sweatshop in China, while watching this video from our lithium-ion battery-powered cell phone made using cobalt mined using <coughs> child slaves in Africa, who's really to blame for all this? While it's poor black people in Louisiana for now, maybe next week it'll be you and your family. <coughs> Also, whoever has the Not most the viewed TikTok cough. or YouTube short using a clip from Jeez, bro. Did he add a cough at the end? Yeah, he definitely added a cough at that, the end. That, that's... That's crazy, fam. Yeah, man, <clears throat> this is, ah, that, ah, man, that sucks, bro. Just tell me what I need to stop buying. What is it? What else we need to stop buying, bro? That's, that's cold, bro. That nigga really flew all the way over there just for them niggas to say. Look at him like, no, no English. I don't know what you're talking about. You stupid dog. Why? You, 
you know damn well that nigga had a translator up there and still was probably, I don't know what you talking about. Like how Shinsuke be talking to Cody. Facts. You stupid, but facts. Yeah, but nah, man. <laughs> uh, on, on a serious note, my prayers go out to everybody that yeah. has ever endured with any cancer themselves, family member, anybody from this, you know, <clears throat> um, small parish and town and state in general. Yeah. Um, especially in the hands of big corporations and companies and plants mm-hmm. that know they're ruining the lives of all these people and they continue to do it anyway without even giving a fuck. They looking yep. for more real estate to put more plants. <clears throat> you yep. feel me? But like Ross said, you gotta um you're gonna have to answer one day mm-hmm. to your actions. Yep. These are a lot of people seeing that little funeral, bro, <clears throat> seeing that graveyard in between plants. Yeah, bro. That, if that ain't a big F you to the face, fam, I don't know what else is. Yeah, like, bro. Yeah, that's ridiculous. But I'm glad we were able to check this out. This is why I like watching certain, a lot of these educational videos as well, because you learn about yeah. these things. And now we have an understanding and an awareness of what's going on in some of these uh, towns that we may not have ever thought of before. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. we know certain things are going on, of course, but it's good to get a more detailed look on a uh, one on one event or you know place where this is actually happening to where hey if you know something or have any information on how to help or how to prevent or anything like that it's helpful so they need to continue to band together raise awareness and stop this shit bro because that's ridiculous especially for the kids and and everybody else but um definitely make sure you run the likes subscribe let us know what else you need to be checking out on the channel anything else that's informational help us educate ourselves and also (coughs) Uh, just ways of awareness, man. So let us know. Love you guys. Continue to spread love, be love as usual. Like I always say, catch y'all on the next video. Peace out. Already. This bitch is from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.